Okay, Simeon and Joseph, what, uh, where are we at today? Genesis 3.15. Zabulin, will you read that for us? And I will put enmity between mm -hmm. thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Genesis 3.15. Thank you. <coughs> This is the first promise to fallen man. It has been in great measure fulfilled. The seed of the woman was bruised, yet how terrible will be the final bruising of the serpent's head. This was virtually done when Jesus took away sin and vanquished death. But it awaits a still further accomplishment at our Lord's second advent. This promise stands is a prophecy that we shall be uh, affected by the powers of evil and thus bruised in our heel. But we shall triumph in Christ, who sets his foot on the serpent's head. This year we may have to learn the first part of this promise through experience, the temptations of the devil, and the unkindness of the ungodly. They may so bruise us that we may limp, but let, let us grasp the second part of the text. By faith let us rejoice that we shall still reign in Christ Jesus. So even though we may get bumped and bruised and beat up and knocked down, as long as we stick close to Jesus, we're still going to be victorious. Amen. Yeah, this, that's, I know I, I keep saying it over and over and over, but staying close to Jesus, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, not letting, you know, not letting the distractions <clears throat> um, hinder us. What's hinder mean? Uh, Stop us, slow us down. Keep us from doing what we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, chasing the, the shiny thing or or whatever may you know, whatever may come up. You know, there are plenty of unkind people out there, isn't there? Yeah. You know, there always has been. There always will be. Yes. But we need to keep our, our sights set on Jesus. Look at Cain. Yeah, Look at Cain. Mm -hmm. Satan can make himself look like the shiny thing. That's true. He can make but, himself but look like the shiny thing. But when you turn around and you see Dad, Dad is a lot more shiny. God is a lot more shiny. He's where we need to keep our focus. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So... You know, I I pray that this year we will keep our eyes fixed on Him, um, we just focus on on Christ, doing what He would have us to do, and that's what we need to really focus on. Amen. Amen. Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus for all of our life. For all of our life, yes, absolutely. Let's pray. Father, we love and praise you today, and we just thank you for the first day of the new year, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray that you would uh, just help us to, you know, keep our focus on you, and not uh, not get consumed with, you know, stuff. Father, I pray that our walk would grow with you, that you would, you know, we would truly allow you to lead us where you would want us to go, Father. Father, you know what's best for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I place this family in your hands, Lord. Father, I know what's I know that you know what's best for us. And we just give you the praise and honor today. In your high name, Jesus, we pray. Amen.